Will you please stand for our national anthem? Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight oh the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Mm. Hello everyone, and welcome to the 74th commencement of Lincoln High School, and our first commencement ceremony in more than 40 years. My name is Indira Heller, and I would like to welcome all of you to graduation this evening. Our families, friends, and supporters, our principal Ruth Metzger, assistant principal Dr. Corey Eichner, Assistant Principal Sarah Tuttle, School Board Director Lisa Rivera Smith, Director of Schools John Halfaker, and Chief of Facilities Fred Podesta. Before we begin, we would like to show our respect and acknowledge the Puget Sound Coast Salish peoples, past and present, on whose lands we gather today. The Squamish Tribe and Muckleshoot Indian Tribe are the federally recognized Indian tribes of Greater Seattle under the treaties of Point Elliot and Medicine Creek. When I think of the biggest thing I've learned during the past four years of high school, I think of one lesson, the quadratic formula. Just kidding. I think about uncertainty. I think about having trust in what has not yet come. We have learned to live in uncertainty. We have learned to persist and find warmth in unfamiliar circumstances. The class of 2022 began their freshman year, sitting at different desks in different schools, knowing that the school they would grow accustomed to was subject to change. We didn't know what life at Lincoln High School would look like, what it would feel like, who we would be there. Sophomore year, we sat at new desks, enduring a strangely long mentorship class period wondering what the year would bring. I remember sitting there in Mr. Trevino's classroom, turned to my friend and whispered, what is this school and how have we ended up here? We were hesitant. We were uncertain. The class of 2022 made the best of it. We built school spirit and tradition out of a newly reopened building. We made clubs, joined sports, planned assemblies, created just about a thousand different Lincoln Instagram accounts, we learned to love the school we were so uncertain of. In March of 2020, we went online. Everyone experienced this time differently, but this was a time of worldwide isolation. We joined Microsoft Teams classes from different desks in different places. We endured loneliness. We endured global struggle. We braved uncertainty. 
We returned for our senior year. We reunited. We persevered through the nerves of returning. We got to see our friends again and walk the wrong way up the specifically marked down stairwells. <laughs> Life was no longer on hold. It was a blessing to watch my class around me rekindle their connections. In class, I feel this shared appreciation for the many personalities in our grade. With our small class size, bonded by our unique experiences, I like how we all know each other's names. Our class would not be what it is without every single student. We are a collection of shared memories, shared friendships, but we are also a special collection of different experiences, different backgrounds, different perspectives. This is what, ugh. <laughs> This is what has built our community and made us who we are. If our younger selves could see us now, we would be so proud. But our younger selves couldn't see us now. We had to trust that we would get here. We had to trust that this complicated process of growing up was molding us into the people we should be. Here we are now, the younger version of our future selves, trusting the path of life once again. Let us trust our own aging. Let us trust that we are evolving. Let us embrace the passing of time. I love the way the months follow each other, one after the next, May into June into July. I will love the changing of months for as long as I live, no matter where I live, no matter what I feel changing. I am not losing anything. The months will still pass and I will admire it every time. Senior year has brought us memories and lessons we will carry with us forever. The intense strategy required for dodging Nerf bullets. The inside jokes formed during particularly painful block periods. Attending club meetings with people who are equally obsessed with your favorite things. Dancing with the people you love at prom. We have all applied ourselves in different ways to an uncertain future. We have, a, we have faced an abundance of uncertainty, uncertainty of what high school should be, of who we should be, how to be alone, how to be together, how to lead our futures. We have learned to withstand uncertainty. We have learned to thrive in it. We found familiarity when our school felt new. We found stability when the ground was shaking. We found ourselves in a period of unpredictability, and we will continue to. We will never know exactly who we are or where we're going, but we have learned to stay true to ourselves and navigate. It is okay to trust the future. We have learned to flourish in the unknown. Thank you. Please welcome Henry Williams playing the song titled Something.
Lincoln High School class of 2022. Here we are. We finally did it. We're graduating. <laughs> I ask you to close your eyes with me for a moment. Think back to when we started high school. Think of those moments during class, after school activities, late nights with friends. Think of the moments, the people. Maybe you created a lifelong friendship. Maybe you fell in love. But think of all the moments that you're grateful for. Okay, now open your eyes. We started high school with the knowledge that we were leaving our first schools to go somewhere new, knowing that what we established at our first schools was temporary. I've seen the idea of temporary ripple through our class since the moment we all joined together at Lincoln. We started at LHS unsure, uneasy, feeling like we couldn't truly settle in the physical space that we were given. It felt temporary. While we were all uneasy because everything felt so transitionary, so unsure, it was that feeling of temporary that pushed us to find permanence. We couldn't find stability in where we were, so we found it in each other. With that said, we are a group of 184 teenagers. We know that there was drama, difficult times, moments full of anger and sadness. And while they're not always the most pleasant moments, they're just as important to realize because those are the moments we grew. That growth that we've all done has truly shaped our class. Each and every one of you extended your desire for belonging and permanence outside of yourself. So for that, thank you. Thank you for sticking with each other, for fighting to make our school better. Thank you for seeing the people that surround you, for being their friend when they were a stranger. Thank you for always taking those damn climate surveys. But most of all, Thank you for embracing your individuality and allowing it to create the permanence that encapsulates our class. So, for the last time, I ask you to look at all of these people sitting around you. These individuals that you grew and changed with, think of all the memories that we've created together. I hope that for each and every one of you that your future holds not just a little bit more permanence, but a future that is full of happiness laughter, love, and growth. While we get ready to turn our tassels and say our goodbyes, let's all relish in the permanence that we have in each other. Lincoln High School, graduating class of 2022, we have permanently changed each other. Congratulations, you made it. <laughs> Now, please welcome Ava Lauer and Sylvia Zerba, along with their accompanist, playing violin concerto in A minor.
right, good evening. What a journey we've been on together um, to get you to graduate for the class of 2022. I'm really proud. As you leave high school and start new adventures, I'd like to share a poem with you. It's called Desiderata. Desiderata means things desired. And this is what I hope for you as you're moving forward in your new adventures. It was written by a man named Max Ehrman and written 100 years ago, but it still seems really pertinent today. Desiderata. Go placidly amid the noise and haste and remember what peace there may be in silence. As far as possible, without surrender, be on good terms with all persons. Speak your truth quietly and clearly and listen to others. Even the dull and ignorant, they too have their story. Avoid loud and aggressive persons. They are vexations to the spirit. If you compare yourself to others, you may become bitter and vain. For always there will be greater and lesser persons than yourself. Enjoy your accomplishments as well as your plans. Keep interested in your own career, however humble. It is the real possession in, a, in the changing fortunes of time. Exercise caution in your business affairs, for the world is full of trickery. But let this not blind you to what virtue there is. Many persons strive for high ideals, and everywhere life is full of heroism. Be yourself. Especially do not feign affection. Neither be cynical about love, for in the face of all ardity and disenchantment, it is as perennial as the grass. Take, care, take kindly the counsel of the years, gracefully surrendering the things of youth. Nurture sp strength of spirit to shield you in sud sudden misfortune. But do not distress yourself with dark imaginings. Many fears are born of fatigue and loneliness. Beyond a wholesome discipline, be gentle with yourselves. You are a child of the universe, no less than the trees and the stars. You have a right to be here. And whether or not it's clear to you, no doubt the universe is folding as it should. Therefore, be at peace with whatever your labors and aspirations. For in the noisy confusion of life, peace, keep peace with your soul. And remember, with all its sham and drudgery and broken dreams, it is still a beautiful world. Be cheerful, strive to be happy. And now, students, will you please stand? Seattle School Board Director Lisa Rivera-Smith, will you please join me at the podium? As the principal of Lincoln High School, I formally present and recommend for graduation the students of Lincoln High School, class of 2022. These students have met all the graduation requirements and deserving of all honors and rights and privileges pertain to it there. You, do you accept? Thank you, Principal Metzger. By the authority vested on me as School Board Director of Seattle Public Schools, I recognize and accept the 2022 graduates of Lincoln High School, and I approve the granting of their diplomas. You may be seated. Hello, Lincoln class of 2022. As your Seattle School Board representative and a Lincoln parent also, it is an incredible honor to be here with you tonight. You've already heard plenty about the unique challenges you've overcome and the incredible journey that lies ahead of you. So what could I possibly impart on you that hasn't already been said? Well, that's a question I asked myself when I sat down to write my words for tonight. So I, it brought me back to what we always say at Seattle Public Schools, and that's trusting in the brilliance of our students. 
So in doing that, I, I uh, have two short speeches here, one written by a SBS kindergartner and one written by a Lincoln Junior and a firm believer in democracy. I'd like you to tell me which one you want me to read. Who wants to hear the Lincoln Junior speech? <laughs> Who wants to hear the kindergartner speech? Okay. It's a good one. It's written in red crayon and everything. Lincoln, class of 2022, get a job. <laughs> get money, buy cookies. <laughs> that is what I uh, impart on you tonight. So go forth, know that everyone here loves and supports you and is so proud of you tonight. Thank you. Nicole Elaine Cafe. <laughs> Hannah Naomi Andral. <laughs> Vivian Francis Cody. <laughs> Tula Macy Margaret Angeli. Indira Lore Heller. <laughs> Anton J. Angelov. Henry John Williams. Peter Caleb Banta Green. Naya Joy Kirkarudo. Tyson Todd Belsick. Ava Mackenzie Lauer. Julia Elizabeth Bentley. Sylvia Grace Zerba. Helena Beverly. Sebastian David Paliax. <laughs> Helen Nazla Lons. Yon Matia Felon. Alex Flora Bordeaux Helfrich. Alicia Jade Baladad Salva. Malcolm Stewart Bauer. Josephine Bell Jackson Alberts. Hudson Edward Brown. Andres Alvarez. Nicholas Chow. Isabella Jalen Bryant. Noah Samuel Shrieky. Faye Elizabeth Burdick. Veronica Ada Collin. Enzo Oliver Burt. Jacob Harrison Kroonquist. Antoine Butchie. Isabella Flynn Curtis. Campbell Katie Butzlaff. Madeline Rose Darby. Michael Archie Byrne. Anvita Dina De Allen. Abigail Monroe Call. Callie Margaret Deedles. Bruno Carlini Mendonca. 
Yusufo Mauricio Mamadou Jallo. Do it again. Tell me what it is. Ava Josephine Catalano. Yusufa Mamadov Giallo. Jasmine Lynn Sepurna. Victoria del Carmen Garcia Martinez. Blake Edward Chandler. Alyssa Emily Gates. Haley Dawn Develbus. Arya Rumi Garib. Milana Dresbeck. Malcolm Elliot Dubin. Jack Kenneth Ginster. Dovson Elimo. Elijah Joseph Goodman. Felicia Leanne Oaf. Nathaniel Grievous. Asher Jude James Faley. Caroline Francis Hall. Natalia Isabel Feu. Jackson Mercer Harling. Jennifer Marie Fillingham. Emma Marie Kaplan. Zach Ryan Freeland. Maxime Kianitza. Ross Reza Freer. Charles Bean Kleban. Max Peter Gade. Ellie Alexandra Klinger. Pedro Garcia Jimenez. Adele Marcus Knudsen. Isabel Tate Hawkins. Lily Claire Kreinheader. Aiden Carl Heinrich. Jacob Lascala. Jeremy Jean Herbin. Lucy Annabelle Leyburn. Liana Yarden Herzog. Lillian K. Lee. Elise Marie Holman. Catherine Elizabeth Locascio. Aiden Tumaliwan Huggins. Andre Luigi. Ava Karina Ellingworth. Luca Jean William Mock. Zoltan Kazuo Ishikawa Sabo. Oren Munson. James Trenton Johnson. Sherry Richard Murphy. Lucas Carl Joss. Kevin Rubens Myrtle. Tyson Dixon Jack Julius. Nainoa Kawali'i Na. Nico Sawaya MacArthur. James Allen Newberger. Theoden Ellis Malti. Thomas Richard Nova. Luis Angel Martinez Vasquez. Aiden Michael Oberg. Quinn on Matheson. Connor Olsen. Marion May Matson. Josie Heather Parks. Bailey Hamilton Mays. Jamie G. Richards. Zayden Andrew Ray Montwill Wizard Kaisery McMahon. Yeah. Abigail Marie Roberts. 
Chloe T. Miller. Reed Thomas Robinson. Graham Miller. Thomas William Rohde. Henry Godfrey Mills. Eleanor Scott Sable. Ahmed Hassan Mohammed. James Arthur Sanderson. Samuel Joseph Obradovich Fippen. Estelle Sophia Savoy. Jared Pitt. Lucy Clara Shamhart. Theo Juno Pleasure Park. Harper Delancey Schneider. Leo Luca Pohl. Isolt Eilish Nora Stokes. Noel Poltronieri Eppelin. Adelaide Lavisa Stowe. San Lily Popovich. Marissa Joe Stubbs. Thor Eric Wallace Polson. Cade Westlake Sweeney. Frida Lee Powers. Eric Washington Tennyson. Natalie Hillary Cavado. Mark Washington Tennyson. Vlad Rostev. Samuel Hale Tusky. Dylan Charles Ragsdale. Samuel Christopher Thompson. Annika Ramakrishnan. Sage Margaret McCormick Tucker. Drew Michaela Mahecha Sherrard. Noah Daniel Twardzik. Yeah. Ryan Andrew Shigley. Yeah. Emmett W. Vanier. Gabrielle Cayenne Scholl. Yeah. Neve Maraid Westover. Yeah. Hannah Rose Singer. Bowen Thomas Winter. Charlotte Smale. Ian Hui Young. Noah Benjamin Small. Mackenzie Joy Ziegler. North Christopher Sparks. Maddox Lewis Spinelli. Hazel James Stanfield. Raymond Isaiah Steingraber. Jennifer Tay Rain Stevens. Liam Daniel Stevenson. Isaiah Stewart. Connor Vogel. Gavin B. Wallace. Sean Walsh. Tobias Eli Weathers. Aiden Given Webb. These students were not able to attend tonight's commencement, but we wanted to make sure they were celebrated. Asher Lewis Bremson. Justin Harrison Cook. 
Anna Yu Yang Cox, Addie Gill, Damian Bourbon Gray, Benjamin Charles Hansen, Marissa Grace Kennedy, Max David Monday, Abigail Jean Russell, Madeline Monroe, excuse me, Madeline Malloy Sheets. Class of 2022, would you please stand up? I don't think that anyone can argue that we have faced more uncertainty and chaos over the last four years than most LHS graduates have faced. But we've done it. We're here. We want to thank our families, our teachers, and everyone who helped us get here today. Please join us in moving your tassel from the right side to your left side to indicate that we have finally become the first senior class in 41 years to graduate from Lincoln High School. Now, would everyone please stand and join us, the Lincoln High School graduating class of 2022, as we step out of high school and into the next chapter of our lives. We did it. Sure.